great way to get a sense of Carlingford is to take a boat trip on Carlingford Lock. And I'm about to go on a beautiful restored tug, the Brianne. We're after coming out and you can see King John's Castle. So we're right on the coast here and right on the foot of the Cooley Mountains and the Cooley Peninsula. Literally, as soon as you leave the harbour, you're into Carlingford Lock. And it's really, really cool here in the sense that you get a great panoramic view of Carlingford Lock. You've got Cooley Mountains on the port side, and then you've got the Moor Mountains on... It's just behind me, isn't it? behind you, exactly. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of bird life that comes in here from the Arctic. A seal population of about 400 seals, two different species. We've even got a new resident dolphin that arrived in about three months ago called Finn. And how big is the lock here now we're in? So from Halbolan Lighthouse all the way to Warren Point is about eight and a half miles. It's a quite an interesting fjord in the sense that where we are now, where we're steaming now, we've only got about 15 feet or about five metres of water underneath us. If you go into the lock, you can get a max of maybe 38, 39 metres. So you've got this kind of fjord, glaciated fjord situation. And obviously in glacial times and the geology here, most of the sediment was dumped right out of the mouth of the lock, which is where Hal Boland Lighthouse is. And it's pumped right on top of all that glaciated boulders. And behind you there, that looks lovely now. Is that the marina? Yes, that's Carnaford yeah. Marina. Our new greenway starts right here at the marina. So you can hire a bike, you can walk it. Uh, it's about seven and a half kilometers and it takes you to the next village. I'd really love to see the wheelhouse and a bit more about the boat, if that's okay. Brilliant. She's a 1945 Dutch tug. She'll only do eight or nine knots. It was all hand-built. We originally in Loud Adventures had sea safaris on ribs or rigid inflatables, and much, much faster. Uh, got us out to locations in around the islands. Um, but a lot of people then kind of said, I'd like to try out the sea trips which is a slow, what we call a slow boat, and it's a different style of, of tour. So it's kind of sit back, enjoy the scenery. Um, we can hold up to five people, and away we go. We do the islands, we do a bit of wildlife watching. So we kind of try and do is tell a story of, obviously, Ireland's ancient east as well, and the Viking period, uh, and the kids love it because we've swords and helmets, and, and they come up here on the drive, and, you know. Do they? Oh, they love it. So it's very hands-on. <laughs> very, very much. Now, Nevin, it's your turn to take over. Do you trust uh, me? Shane? I think so. I think Brianne will trust you. Hope you have good insurance. It's all yours. <laughs> OK, so where am I going? So Tell if me. you kind of head, just hold the heading we're going, steady as she goes. <laughs> steady as she goes, I love it. It's so smooth and so comfortable, isn't, isn't it? it? You're just kind of cruising along nice and gently. Am I doing OK? You're doing fantastic. You say that to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. She's quite heavy for the size of it. She's 15 metres long and she's over 40 tonne. The engine that's on it just has enough power just to keep it pushing at that. And when they come out on the boat, how long does the trip last? And between an hour and an hour and a half. Okay. It all depends on the grip. If the grip is really good at interacting and the tides is suiting us good, we'll try and stay it as long as we possibly can. That's all about the tides, is it? All about the tides here in Carnaford. Okay. Because unfortunately, we've got a very short window in Carnaford Lock. We've only got a couple of hours either side of high tide. It's unusual in the sense that we've actually got different microclimates. So it could be a fantastic day in Dublin, and here it's a completely different weather system because we are nestling between the Moran Mountains mountain range and the Cooley Mountains on our starboard side. So we get this microclimate that's slightly different, hence all the wildlife. Well, Shane, it's just been fantastic. I can see why families and children love it because it's educational, they're learning about the Vikings, nature. Well done to you.